So when you go to your Facebook page, you're going to see uh, contact us up the top there. You can change that to uh, be a message button if you feel that people are more likely to message you rather than contact or go to your web page or a call, for example. So it's a good way to change your call to action. There's a few options if you're other businesses that you can link your apps to order food or book services or there's a few get in touch options like call now, contact us as mentioned and send message. So that's the one there that you want to select if you'd like people to see a send message button uh, on your Facebook page. Now there's a few other things you can do get as well as a learn more shop now. For example, you'll be linking linking other apps and uh, web applications through there. But for the get in touch section, you can turn those on yourself and manage those yourself. Turn on instant replies. Uh, we'll get to that in a few minutes later on. So you've updated your message button, you get a notification there. So now you can see instead of contact us, it says send message. Cool. So to get to the other message uh, settings, you can go into the settings up the top there, messaging, second one down. And this is where we get into the nuts and bolts of how the messaging works. You've got a few settings here. Uh, you turn, turn most of them on. I recommend just turning all of them on. Uh, use the enter button to send a message. Prompt visitors to send a message to make it more prevalent that you've got a message option on your page. Uh, you've got the uh, order, order response sort of settings, send instant replies to anyone that messages your page. Uh, we'll go into what that is here. You can change that. So an instant reply uh, on your page is when somebody sends you a message for the first time and you automatically have a response ready and waiting. Uh, that could be if you can't get to it in time or you typically don't uh, respond straight away. You can set uh, an automatic response to say, you know, something along the lines of thanks for that, we'll respond to your message in the next couple of hours or uh, uh, we'll get to it as soon as we can. Um, you know, if it's urgent, you can call us on this number or if you'd like to make a booking, you can uh, go to this website example, uh, for example. Uh, there's a few different things you can put on this. There's order response for someone sends a message and you just send an automatic generic response straight away on that there. Uh, the second thing that we'll be talking about here is um, stay responsive when you can't get to your computer or your phone and uh, your response times are automatically set for you if you're uh, better than 75% uh, response rate that'll show uh, on your profile as well. So when you can't get to your computer or your phone you can set, a, set an automatic response which is basically when you're set your status to away, you get a special response that goes out to people when maybe you're out of hours or you're not in the office or it's a shutdown period for the holidays or whatever and your status is away, you can personalize your message with the person's name as you can with the instant responses as well and you would uh, choose your personalizations from the bottom drop down there so you can add the person's name, add the message, you can add a few things like email, your address, your website, if you want to send them to make a booking or a FAQ or uh, store times, if you don't want to put that in the message, you can send people through the link there. And you can fulfill the message requirements as well and add them in here before you hit save. And here we go, so that's done. Choose a holler back, that's out, press the email and respond faster than through Messenger. Cool, done that, hit save. So if someone says, hello, I have a question, and your status is away, they're going to automatically get that message that you set up in here. And it's all personalized, looks nice, looks professional, hit save there. Cool. So the next one, the last option you have on this screen here is your message greeting. So what the message greeting is, is uh, if someone opens a message with you, opens to start chatting, and they haven't typed anything yet, you can sort of prompt them with a, with a greeting or a message that doesn't come up as a chat box, it comes up as a background sort of message. So as you saw that just there pop up before someone typed in, hello, I have a question, comes up with uh, a little greeting there, which you can also personalize as well. So just keep an eye on the character counts. They do change for each of the options, the instant replies, the away response, and the greetings. There's a different a number of character counts for those. So um, just keep an eye on that when you're filling in those details there. 
Now how you manage your messages, uh, you click on inbox up the top, as we've just done there, and then you've got your message options, you've got your inbox, unread, follow up, done, so you can mark messages um, with, with, different, um, uh, with different responses to be able to manage your inbox more accurately. So you've got those options there, you've got spam as well if you think it's someone trying to sell you stuff and put them in there so it automatically clicks people's, that same person's messages in spam. You can split your inbox by Facebook and by Instagram as well, or you go to Messenger uh, at the first option. So we've got uh, your away status, as we mentioned before. This is where your uh, reply will come up if you click that button up the top. Uh, you can see here's where you write your messages, your responses to messages. There's a couple of things to point out. You can create appointments, so the pop-up comes up on the messenger uh, on your phone and says you've got an appointment in an hour, so you can set the time and date over there. Uh, you can send some images in a file or a video or a link or whatever, and you can type your response there, obviously. Um, you can choose some auto responses, so now this is quite important if you get uh, people asking the same thing over and over again. There's a couple of options already in there for you, where you can create your own, which is what I'd recommend to personalize it to your business and to your uh, customers' responses as well. So you can give it a name, contact hours if that's a common question. You can add in your personalizations and hey, Mr. Customer, uh, you know, thanks for your message, blah, blah, blah. These are our regular opening hours. Um, you can visit us uh, at the store here, or if you have a store uh, storefront. Uh, you can say we're open between these times, it's best to contact us, or it's best to email us, or it's best to call us if you don't get a response within an hour. We can make that up to suit whatever situation you need from there. So it's important, I guess, just to point out that you know, using this uh, tool that's available to you, if you get the same responses over and over again, and you don't want to keep typing it out every time, uh, you can just save a response, and you can edit, slightly edit it each time if you need to change a couple of things out. Um, and add your personalizations to send people to your website if it's if it's pertinent to what you're trying to respond. Um, and then you can save that response there. So when someone types in, hey, what are your contact hours? You just click the save responses, hit the contact hours response, and hit send, and that'll go out to that person uh, as it is to everyone that asks about the contact hours option there. So make sure you sign off like before. You can keep it casual, but uh, no yo's or hey's or bro's. Cheers is fine, I'm sure. There you go. There's the save response there. Hit that. And then you just make sure that it's all reading OK. You can edit it in there again if you need it to. And then you just attach files if you want to. Um, create an appointment if you want to. And then hit send. It goes out to the person as an order response. So how long will it take them to write that out from scratch? Or just click the button and edit it as need be. Cool, so those are the five options that you have there. The last one will be the away status, as mentioned earlier. That's where you choose it there. It is a manual setting. It sets it for 12 hours every time. And this is where your away message shows up when that is switched on. So you can click on that message settings. It takes you to your away message just so you can check up on what you've written for your away message. And if you need to amend it for you know, the different reasons why you're away, uh, like I said earlier, like Christmas holidays or New Year's or um, Thanksgiving or whatever it is, if you're away for a longer period of time, you can change that message or your generic, hey, we're shut down for today. Uh, and there it is there, your time, it tells you when it's going to be back on. You can turn it off straight away uh, if you accidentally clicked it, so you don't have to wait the whole 12 hours, uh, which is great. Or maybe you feel the need to work from home if you can't sleep, uh, you have that option to turn off the auto responses and maybe answer a few messages at the same time. The last few things you can do on the web platform is you can have a look at the person's profile on the right. You can go straight to it by clicking view profile or you can see any notes that you've left or anyone else that's left uh, on their profile. Maybe someone else has dealt with them in the past and there's some notes on there. They've been difficult or they've been great or they always ask for discounts or give this guy 20% every time going forward etc. So that's basically the web platform. Uh, as mentioned earlier, you can do this on mobile if you're on the go, if you're on a laptop or tablet or uh, mobile as well. So let's have a look at what the mobile platform looks like, uh, trying to use Messenger with all the same features and settings. So you need to download Facebook page, which allows you to manage your business page 
uh, on your mobile or your tablet and that's what it looks like there so you got your inbox at the bottom click on that it takes you to your inbox like you have on the web platform you've got your messenger your Facebook your uh, Instagram You've got the inbox drop down at the top, which takes you to your unread, your follow up, your done, your spam, as it does on the web platform. You've got a search at the top right, which allows you to search for messages or people that you've messaged uh, or received messages from. You've got your away status bar right next to that, which automatically sets on your 12 hour timer. One last thing to point out on the web uh, mobile platform is you can share your special messenger link and special messenger code which you can do by clicking on the three stripes in the bottom right and then clicking on messages which takes you to another version of the same inbox and from there you can click on the three or the circle looking icon of the top right uh, next to the, the completed tick and that takes you to this little pop-up menu where you can share your messenger code and share your messenger link now the messenger link is just a short link that you can put onto your ads or you can put onto your website and it's basically www.m.me slash whatever your Facebook page is called, in this case Grizzly Digital. You can use that link in posts on your website, uh, posts on your Facebook timeline so people can click onto it and get, get straight into Messenger and send you a message. Now the last part there is your Messenger code which is effectively like a QR code to encourage people to message your business using Facebook Messenger online, which allows people to point their Facebook camera on that code and that will instantly open a Messenger chat box with you as well. So a couple of ways you can do that, sharing your link and sharing your code. There you have it. That's basically all you'll get from that Messenger module on Facebook Blueprint. Now, like I said earlier, there's a few extra things that you'll pick up for going through that by yourself. I'll just leave you with the last few tips uh, using Facebook uh, Messenger for businesses is yeah, make sure you personalize your messages, um, make your responses personal to the person that's receiving them, make sure you set your away messages to people so people know that you're not going to respond straight away, have your instant replies, uh, your greetings, and save responses for those commonly asked questions. Um, those are all things that are going to save you time, make it more efficient and easier to use. Um, when you're responding to chats, um, whether it's auto response or and stuff like that, uh, keep it kind of casual uh, but professional uh, and set expectations. That's probably the biggest thing. I can't stress that enough is set expectations because it is a messenger service. People do expect instant replies. And if you can't get to your messages instantly, make sure you have your auto response set up to we'll get to you in the next few hours or in the next day. Uh, set that expectation with them. Give them other options if it's not going to be quick enough. Um, Maybe they can call or maybe they can email or visit your website for more options. Make sure you set those expectations and people will uh, use your messenger service much more effectively and you won't get any backlash from slow response times or anything like that. So that's uh, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, good luck with using Facebook for uh, your business. If you find that messenger is something that your clients or customers will benefit from, give it a go, have a play around on the platforms, have a look at differences between the mobile and the web platform, and good luck. Mm -hmm.